landscape has changed again. <laughs> now it looks like we're in the desert over in Egypt, I think. I don't know what it looks like over there, but my goodness, this is weird looking again. But it, I'm on my way to Grand Junction and then on up to Glenwood Springs to see what's, ooh, ooh, ooh see what's going on over there but anyway I just wanted to show you kind of what I'm looking at and um, see how different the landscape has turned it's kind of weird but it's neat it's the way our country is set up is just amazing the difference that we have all the way across the whole United States <sighs> You get a choice to live anywhere, any kind of climate, any kind of, of scenery. You can really, from the beach to the mountain to the savanna to um, just anything. It's, it's crazy, but it's cool. It's really, and the freedom that we have, happy Independence Day, everybody, is uh, very special. And people should definitely spend more time trying to protect it than to take it away. But anyway. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday or a day, any day that you have. I hope it's great. But anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Got a little ways to go. So, now we're in more like dunes. <laughs> At the light, use the it's right lane crazy. to turn onto 32 Road. Right. Turn right onto Colorado, 141 North, 32 Road. It's all different too. I believe this is considered the Grand Mesas. But, it is pretty cool looking. <laughs> that one got on top of one. That's funny. <laughs> That's one way to get on top of the hill. Good morning. I am in Glenwood Springs. And it's right here on the banks of the Colorado River. And... It is absolutely gorgeous everywhere I look. <laughs> I know we will get tired of seeing, hearing me say something is gorgeous, but you know what? It is. So, me, it'll be all right. You'll get over it. But anyway, um, I had a Bavarian breakfast at Rosie's Bavarian restaurant. I can't remember what the name of it is. But anyway, <laughs> it was um, it was really good. It was exactly what I've been needing because I've been searching for the German food. I wish I had gone at lunch, so that would probably been better. But anyway, I'm headed to um, Hanging Lake, and I wanted to put my foot in the Colorado River because, you know, you gotta, gotta take it in. But anyway, I am about to actually walk down. There's a little path that goes down to the river, and I'm going to go put my feet in it. <laughs> but anyway, I will talk to you guys later. This is me getting my chance to put my traveling feet in the Colorado River. So, this is great. Can't go out too far. I don't have anybody to save me if something happens. <laughs> and I'm not an all, all in kind of girl, you know. I gotta have a little bit of insurance. But this is great. Mm -mm. Meeting people on the road is just such a cool experience. So this morning I met Crystal and Ile from Alaska. 
and they traveled and stayed in Key West for a while and are heading back to Alaska. And it's just beautiful, beautiful to share these stories with people. So for all you travelers out there, do it, make those memories. So I was thinking people mine for gold down here, right? I look down and I see this little shiny piece of rock here and I'm pretty sure it's probably pyrite, but anyway. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna pretend it's my gold piece. Right? I can pretend. But that's cool. Oh, I found a better piece. Look at that. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna clean them up, see what it looks like whenever it's clean. Well, guess what? I drive to a Hanging Lake and there's a permit required. What the crap? And the uh, gentleman at the gate was kind of a rude little butt. But anyway, I am going to fix his wagon because I have just purchased the last ticket available for today. The last one. <laughs> Aren't I lucky? But, um, yeah, sucker. That's okay. I'm coming back. I'm going to rain on your parade because guess what? I'm coming through. This old girl don't take no for an answer. No. I refuse. I refuse. I will figure out a way and I will do it. So anyway, today, so that means I can hike up and probably almost catch a um, sunset. But of course, I've got to be up and back down um, within, I think it's a three hour slot. I think that's what it is, but it's $12 for the um, ticket, and of course, I've got my National Park Pass, which has sometimes failed me, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. No problem, but I'm just thankful that I'm able to get in because today is my last day as far as um, not having to work, <laughs> so, um, and I have found this cool, cool rest area called No Name Rest Area in No Name, Colorado. And um, actually found my little gold nugget. I know it's probably not gold, but it is still cool and it looks like gold. So guess what? It's my gold nugget. <laughs> but I'm gonna spend some time here doing videos and trying to edit and prepare another video for um, distribution, but I hope you guys are having a great day, a great adventure, and doggone it, don't take no for an answer. If you want to do something, there's usually a way. You just have to do it. You just have to figure it out, do it. But anyway, I'm fixing to get back here and rest a little bit at this rest area. Well, I have gotten packed up. I'm ready to hike and I had the last pass of the day. Last pass of the day. And needless to say, they have called off the hike because of possible mudslides. We've got some rain moving in. They told us to move out just as quickly as possible. But I just want to show you where I'm at. This is ridiculous. This side, we got some sun. But the clouds start getting a little bit heavy coming out here. And the of course, the Hanging Lakes, I'm guessing, is up there. And it is looking pretty dark. But this was going to be a good trip. I guess I'll have to pass for another time. But I don't know when I'll be back. But flash flood warnings are pretty serious, especially here with as much uh, fires as they've had. It's dangerous, mudslides. So. Anyway, I'm going to take this as a, as a sign. I need to get my honey out of here. Well, boys and girls, I am leaving this area. Look at that big old hole. It's crazy. But I am, um, I guess, going to go back to Glenwood Springs and possibly try this tomorrow if they will honor my ticket for tomorrow but anyway we'll see we will see i really want to see it but it's not i guess it's not worth my life <laughs> but 
it's still a beautiful place. It really is beautiful back here. But time to get on, get on back to Glenwood. They have shut down the entire canyon to where nobody can get through anyway. So <laughs> they're letting people out, but they're not letting people back through. So I guess it's a good thing for me to get on out of here. <laughs> this is so crazy, so weird. But I guess it's part of it. living in the most beautiful places in the world. You're still going to have some kind of issue to deal with, whether it be hurricanes, typhoons, or mudslides. But just to show you some of the beauty of the area, I'm going to keep you on for a minute. It's the Colorado River running through. It's so pretty. But I really wasn't ex anticipating this. I was kind of already planning my route to go up towards Granby and um, Steamboat and all and Leadville and Bale and all those places. But I don't know what's gonna happen now. Uh, hope you do. But I guess going back to Glenwood will just reroute me. I maybe I'll come back down through this area. Not this area, but over on the um, east side of Colorado on my way back. Because it's a beautiful place, and I haven't seen the east side. They told me that I really took the um, scenic route going the west side. And the wild, wild west, let me tell you something. This place over here is wild, wild, wild. Because I am filming this right now, but I do not have any internet. Um, I won't have internet till I get back to No Name. And, but, I mean, you know, hey, whatever. It's all good. All good in the hood. It, uh, as long as I'm alive and kicking, that's all that matters. I get to experience another day and experience how crazy this feels. I hope I'm on the right road. I am. Okay. Shoo. This feels weird. Because there's nobody on the road because they're they've shut everything down. It's empty. So strange. But okay. I guess I should listen to the news more often. <laughs> but I don't because it's depressing. Just like right now. And this is kind of depressing. But mm, weirdness. Super strange. But going through the mountains is beautiful, so it's all good. I can gas up, fuel up in the morning work in Glenwood, see what they're going to do about my ticket, and then head on into wherever. I don't even know where I'm going yet. That's crazy. Because like I said, I was going to go west, but I'm, I'm bad about not wanting to travel the same road back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and they don't let you leave um, Hanging Lake going east you have to go back west so yeah and that may be the good lord you know guiding me back to wherever i need to be because there is some unfinished business i don't know if i'll finish it but i definitely have something of interest in uh, glenwood but we'll see anyway i am going to turn this off because it's getting dangerous i'll talk to you guys later guys i am cooking today because i had such a disappointing time yesterday at one of the restaurants <laughs> that i decided i'd cook myself something today so anyway um i'm making a little lentil and potato soup and oh put a little kale in there this is going to be amazing my van smells so good sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands but anyway I don't know whether it's because I'm just in a funky mood or what, but I needed to, to, to cook. <laughs> that means anything to anybody. It makes me feel good to create things with my hands. But anyway, hope y'all are having a great day.